Welcome to Success Superstars, your place for inspiration and the blueprint of success for peak performers just like you. And my special guest today from JPAR, Simone Gazala. Simone, welcome. <laughs> Simone, tell them a little bit about yourself, uh, how long you've been selling real estate, and uh, g- give us a little background where you sell and your specialty. Uh, my name is Simone Gonzalez, and I've been doing real estate since 2005, licensed since 2007. I started out in property management and investors. I went into traditional real estate and then went into corporate relocation for five years. And then about six years ago, went back to residential and uh, was very lucky to have the opportunity to have JPAR reach out to me and I made the switch and it's been amazing. I specialize in investment property, working with flippers, people who buy and hold traditional real estate, lots, landlords, and luxury. And what, what's your geographic area of specialty? So I work uh, all over the Austin area surrounding Kingsland to Bastrop, Georgetown to San Marcos, but I do most of my business um, in the Apache Shores, which is between Steiner and Lakeway. Yeah, love it. And, and you were just recently at our Austin grand opening, great office in Round Rock. and Beautiful office. <laughs> what a great location. Now, what I'm super impressed and why I wanted to get you on the show today, I was just looking at your numbers and year to date, uh, you've earned 120,000 uh, of commissions in one of the toughest real estate markets that anyone's ever experienced. And that's a great accomplishment. So first, congratulations. Thank you. You know, you're, you're set to double that by the time we end of the year. And, and what I think you shared with me, you, you've done that all through relationships. Yes. Um, all my, well, I'll say coming to JPAR, I have gotten uh, a couple leads off of um, Op City. Mm -hmm. Uh, but 90% of my business is referral and it is somebody who I can four degrees away, three degrees away, two degrees away, uh, neighbors, community members, someone who was like, you sold my neighbor's house and they said you were amazing, you know, or we saw you at the PTA and somebody said you sold their house and you're amazing. (laughs) So I'll go with amazing. (laughs) Well, and so as I talked to some folks that do business with you, what I heard was relationship excellence. Tell us about relationship excellence. How do you do that? So it's a connect, discover, respond is what I use. Um, I connect with people by finding interests that we share. I don't lead with, I'm a realtor. I lead with, what are you into? And then see where we match. And then from there, I discover as much as I can. And then I share. And then I respond to them with what I do. And whether it's, hey, let's go kayaking, paddleboarding. Let's go clean up trash in the neighborhood. It's bringing people together. And through that, I have um, built a solid uh, pipeline. Yeah. So connect, discover, respond. So that's amazing. Now, other people also ask, well, what what tools does she use and what what resources? So I want to ask just overall what tools and then specifically at JPAR what you found. But if there was one tool that you couldn't live without, what is it? It's RPR. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, If you uh, learn how to use that tool, you can bring the best value for comps. And they actually interviewed me last year, actually shortly after joining JPAR to ask how I was able to get my um, listings and get them appraised so close. And I said, well, I use your tool and I do how you train me to. (laughs) And um, the biggest thing is going into refined value. So when I do a listing appointment, I do go through and I ask them, what improvements have you made in the last five years? What have you done to the home? Is it a water heater? Is it an AC? Did you put in flooring? Did you paint? Did you do a remodel? And I make sure those things are put into RPR with their value. And then I run comps. And once I've run comps, I'm able to get the most bang for the buck. I do run the highest price per square foot in my neighborhood. Wow. Well, you know, the executives of the company, we get a report every uh, quarter from RPR. And we are one of the, of of all the brokers in America, we're in the top five highest adopters of RPR. And that's primary because of Shannon Askinos, who has gone out to do the training, the on-demand training, making it uh, a a focus uh, for for JPAR. Uh, So I'm assuming that's 
one of the things that you've also found uh, that you like at JPAR is that we do all that training. Oh, absolutely. The training is outstanding. I've been with other brokerages. I came from KW where you were always paying. You were always kind of, um, you get your six weeks that you pay for, and then you're paying for this and you're paying for that. And by the time you're all done, there's nothing left in your pocket. And so being able to come to a brokerage that wants me to have the most knowledge that I can wants me to be successful and has an expectation for excellence, it makes you want to be part of that. And it makes you want to be the most knowledge realtor on the block. That's awesome. What, what else have you discovered now within JPAR, some of the tools or resources uh, that have either surprised and delighted you or that you use the most? Um, Boss Hub's great. So uh, like if you have a question at 1 a.m., you know, if you're just like, oh, I don't know, and you can go on there and pretty much get the answer to everything you need. Having access to uh, whether it's forms, lectures, information, ways to pop into something else. Um, and then also the relationship JPAR has established with realtor.com mm -hmm. and other companies. Like there's something with that where you are able to um, bring yourself up even as even a little bit more. Yeah, and I know you mentioned earlier to me that that you found the broker support uh, process here, even though it's centralized, you found it to be uh, one of the best you've ever had. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, being able to put in a question and have an answer within an hour, being able to say, hey, and then if I do need to reach out directly, like I can, and just having access to information because we are working with legal documents and making sure that I am protecting my client the best with and doing my fiduciary duty with them. It's right. fantastic. And with that, I will say, I also, if I'm gonna toot my own horn a little bit, I did get an award from HomeSnap for best customer service in excellence. Wow. So, um, thanks. Um, so there are those things that um, come with joining a team with other people that are doing the same thing. I felt when I was with another brokerage, I was constantly having to defend myself that I'm a realtor, not a yoga instructor, not a photographer. I am a realtor. This is my full-time gig. This is what I do. But with JPAR, I don't feel as much that I have to defend myself. I think the reputation is that it hires full-time realtors and it hires people who are doing excellent work who want to continue to grow as realtors. And I think you shared with me, once you joined us, not to put down any other firm, but once you joined us, your, your, your business took off. Oh, it, it was amazing. And also not having to pay another broker 30% or 20% or even after you cap, there's hidden fees everywhere. So being able to uh, take all that money home was amazing. And uh, I made $40,000 more the wow. first year after switching, which is a huge, <laughs> that's a huge jump. Well, and if you think about it, you can take that 40,000 and invest in the marketing that works for you in your market. If I was making all those decisions up here, well, what's the best way to advertise in Austin? Well, you know that. I don't know that. Um, it, is, it gives you the ability to do more when you have more money to be able to do more for your clients. And then that reputation goes on. Oh my gosh. And I'm not big on big gifts for my clients, but what I do is make sure that they're taken care of. And the relationship doesn't just stop once they buy the home. I check in, I make sure that I'm constantly, hey, how are the kids? How's it going? It doesn't just end with, I got paid, see ya. Because right. those people, they may sell that house. And I want to be in their lives enough that they didn't just have a good experience buying their house, but they, if they decide to sell, I'm the first call they call. Yeah. Now, have you found, talking just a little bit more about the brokerage, have you found that you can be as connected or as disconnected as you choose to be? If you want to be connected, we've got all kinds of ways. Oh, absolutely. How, how have you plugged in to be part of the ecosphere? Well, you guys have access to Facebook groups. We have, you know, the Boss Hub. We have the lectures. We have things like this where we're connecting with one another and um, just utilizing those 
tools. And really that's what they are, utilizing those tools to be able to um, take you to the next level. When the multiple offers started, I think it was like July or August where it started getting really hairy. The first thing I did was get an email from you guys <laughs> saying, hey, there's this thing you can watch on the best tools and ways to do a multiple offer. I watched that and I'm not even kidding, the next offers I got because right. I right. then had those tools to be able, and I share those with my clients as well. I say, hey, I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly right. being educated. It's not like, oh, I learned something in 2007. <laughs> so I'm constantly getting what's going on in the now. And that's really the first time where I feel like I'm being taken care of as an agent fully, where I'm getting the information now and not having to pay to be educated. Right. And you get all that for a low fee that's capped and just a small transaction fee above it. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, what, what's cool about it is we're all aligned. We're, we're all, you know, if you're not closing transactions, we're not making money. So we all have the same incentive to, to move us down the path. And I'm just so glad that you're part of the team. Well, I appreciate being part of the team. It has been a beautiful experience. The new office is beautiful. Um, I do work in Georgetown and Round Rock and surrounding areas. So if I do need to bring a client by, I can. And so that's always nice. I generally work in the field though. I, you know, don't yeah. take advantage as much as that because again, we're usually out to lunch. <laughs> no, no, but, but it's there and from time to time. Now, as we wrap up this episode of Success Superstars, is there one thing that you would share with other agents who were maybe they're deeply experienced um, or maybe they're brand new. Is there a common thing that you would want to, a message you want to get out to everybody? Put your client first. And mm -hmm. by doing that, you need to know as much information as you can. So take the 30 minutes a day, take the hour a day as part of your day to educate yourself. So you are the one who has all the information, you know it first. And I educate other agents by accident all the time, <laughs> just by saying, oh, I can't believe Trek changed the rule. And they go, how do you know that? And I said, oh, my broker emailed me. And so, and I even have had brokers say, oh, I didn't know something right. and, they're, and look it up right then and go, oh my gosh, I had no idea. But I feel like Jay Parr is constantly giving us the information. So open the emails, read them, educate yourself, because right. you don't have to be deep in the Kool-Aid to educate yourself. You can, no. you can have your own brand aligned with JPAR and the freedom you guys give us to have that excellence is fantastic. Yeah, and that's what I love about your success is you take personal responsibility. You know, we can send out the emails, but you have to read them, right? It's, it's yeah. a joint, we're in it together. <laughs> you have to oh. open it. You have to click the open and yeah. Every time I do, I learn something new or it confirms something I already knew. And with that, I feel secure in guiding my clients through their transactions. And because it is generally very smooth, I feel like that gives me the reputation I have. Yeah. Well, thank you for demonstrating and re reminding us the importance. You, you are, uh, you know, the relationship excellence expert in that connect, uh, discover and respond a tool is something I think we can all uh, reinforce in all of our relationships. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to meet you in person. And I look forward to a fantastic career with JPAR. Yeah, same here. And if anyone wants to get a hold of you, uh, they can just look you right up in Boss or uh, what's your website? Um, I am Simone Gonzalez <laughs> dot something at JPAR. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> they can they can Google you or find you or yeah, if if you Google me, I I pop up for sure, and I've been in the game too long for you not to find me. <laughs> there you go. So if they have a referral or something in the Georgetown, Round Rock, Austin area, they'll they'll know how to get a hold of you. Well, with that, Simone, thank you so much for pouring into us today. We look forward to having you back on another episode. Absolutely. Uh, and, yeah, and until we meet again, may your choices reflect your hopes. And not All just right. Take Thank care. Thank you.